We move now to the violence in Syria and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton's tough words for the regime of Bashar al-Assad. She made her remarks at a conference in Turkey called to support the opposition. Clarissa Ward is there. Good evening, Jeff. Delegates from more than 70 different countries gathered here today trying to push for solutions to the crisis in Syria with patients running low as President Bashar al-Assad continues his brutal crackdown. There is no more time for excuses or delays. This is a moment of truth. Topping today's agenda, discussion of UN Special Envoy Kofi Annan's six-point peace plan. President Assad claimed to accept the proposal almost a week ago, but there has been no let-up in the violence. At what point do we say that this plan has been a failure? What is the deadline? We think Assad must go, the killing must stop. Uh, the sooner we get into a process that ends up there, the better. Uh, and I think uh, former Secretary General Anand understands that. But how do you enforce that timeline? Well, I think it's self-enforced. I think he has to be uh, the one who says, uh, within a relatively short period of time, we're not getting any results. I was given promises, they're not kept. Because then we would go back to the Security Council. But for rebel fighters inside the country, time is running out. We were recently inside Syria in the north in the city of Idlib, and the rebels who we were staying with now tell us that they have no ammunition left, they have no money left, and that their only recourse for self-defense is to build IEDs or bombs. Are you not concerned that if no support comes from the outside that this could really uh, devolve into a very bloody, ugly insurgency? Well, I think that's why you heard today that a group of nations will be providing assistance for uh, the fighters. And uh, that is uh, uh, a decision that uh, is being welcomed by the Syrian National Council. That group of nations includes Saudi Arabia and some Gulf states, which today pledged millions to pay rebel salaries, hoping to encourage more Syrian army defections to shift the balance of power. And the U.S. pledged $12 million in aid, including for the first time satellite communications equipment. They have a great deal of difficulty communicating inside Syria. You were there. You know how hard it is. Uh, we think we have some assets that we can get in there. Clarissa with us again now. Clarissa, how much indication is there that the international actions being taken from outside Syria are affecting what's going on inside Syria? Well, certainly, Jeff, there are strong indications that those economic sanctions are having a real impact. There are long lines for gas across the country. The price of food has doubled. And when we asked Secretary Clinton about this exact subject, she said that she believes the cracks are beginning to emerge within the Assad regime. She said, I can't put a time frame on it, but I do believe that it's beginning to happen. All right, Clarissa Ward, thank you.